and welcome to Slide IQ, the extreme makeover show for your slides. My name's Elaine Giles and I'll be your host today. And we're going to be taking a look at title slides. Well, it is the first episode, so what better place to start? So, how far wrong can you go with a title slide? Well, be careful what you ask. Most people have a preconception of what should be included on your title slide. Obviously, you're thinking the title of the event, your name, possibly your position if it's relevant. You may want to get the logos out of the way and any affiliations that you may need to mention. And of course, we have all those elements here in abundance. The trick is, of course, not to overload the slide, which incidentally will make repurposing much easier. So what are the problems with this slide? Well, the titles in Comic Sans. Now, Comic Sans is the most loathed font on the planet, and even if you happen to like it, your audience may be among those that don't, so why risk antagonising them on the first slide? Then there's the subtitle. The subtitle's in a different font, it's a different colour, it's underlined, and it's in a different alignment, so absolutely no continuity there whatsoever. The main graphic... Well, what can I say? It's a clip art. I personally, not fond of clip art. In this case as well, well, it's also too small. It's very poor quality. And it's so cheesy and cartoony, it really will make completely the wrong impression. Yet again, there's more colours around the presenter's name and position. It's also set against a different background. I would imagine it was to make it stand out. Sadly, I don't think it works. Then there's the logos. We have on the left two additional logos with no indication of why they're relevant. Always ask if an element that you're going to place on a slide is really relevant. And even if it is relevant or it could be considered to be relevant, go on and ask yourself, is it actually really needed? So what's better? Well, this is a title slide from one of my presentations. It's intended to be clear, concise, and with that in mind, it only has four elements on it. Obviously, it has the title of the presentation. This is in the same font as the presenter's name, but slightly larger. I elected not to include a subtitle, as this event's part of a series of events falling under the Extreme Makeover banner. I've emphasised this by including the Extreme Makeover logo which was a constant across all the materials relating to any of the events in the Extreme Makeover series. The only other element is the image of the projector. It's not a clip art and it's also not a small image that's rescaled. If you try doing that, it will pixelate. In fact, this image isn't even the whole of a projector. It's just sufficient to suggest what the subject matter of the presentation is. And taken together, these elements create a cohesive, engaging title slide for an effective presentation's presentation. But can this methodology translate to other topics? Well, here is a title slide from one of my other presentations. It follows a similar pattern, but it's very different in tone. It has bright, rich and powerful colours. It's a complete contrast from the black of the previous title slide example. The title's clear, as is the presenter's name. It is part of the Extreme Makeover series, so the Extreme Makeover logo is in exactly the same position as the previous title slide. And again, there is a large, high-quality image suggestive of the subject matter of the presentation. The title slide is where you can be expressive, and a powerful title slide will pique the interest of the audience, or at least not render them comatose before you start. So what points can you take away from this look at presentation title slides? Well, always aim for simplicity. As Leonardo da Vinci is quoted as saying, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. But simple doesn't mean that your title slide can't be both interesting and engaging. In fact, the title slide's often where you can create a powerful and compelling slide. Some of you may be obliged to use the standard corporate template, and that can stifle your creativity somewhat, especially with the content slides. But the title slide is your opportunity to stamp your mark on the presentation before you even get going. So be expressive, make it distinctive. And remember, you are your best asset. It's you that's delivering the presentation and you're unique. So aim to make your presentation that way too. So that's it for this first episode of Slide IQ, the extreme makeover show for your slides. If you have any questions or comments about this episode of Slide IQ, you can post them on the show notes site at slide-iq.com. 
If you'd like to suggest a topic for the show, request a slide makeover, or provide feedback, then do feel free to contact me directly via the contact form on the website. My name's Elaine Giles, and don't forget to check out my other projects, all linked to from my blog at elainegiles.co.uk. Thank you for watching this, the first episode of Slide IQ. I look forward to seeing you next time.